Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, today I think I'm going to do a little video on uh, the fence I repaired. You know, after uh, Hurricane Irma took it out, we had to remove our fence and uh, a tree went down over it and uh, compromised it. So uh, today I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I went about and, and uh, redid that fence and put the gate up. Alright, here's the, uh, the fence as I have it now. I've uh, moved it to uh, this end of the house. Uh, and so now uh, it, it uh, cut it off and also makes it nice uh, we have a couple dogs here of course lucky dogs we gotta have dogs and uh, now when the dogs are outside they don't sneak around the side if you're sitting on the deck and you can't see them so it's really kind of a good thing to move it back I really didn't care that it went clear up alongside the house but uh, uh, this is what it looks like now after I've moved All right I uh, mounted this uh, last pole right up against the house i wanted it nice and tight so dogs can't uh, uh, go through it or anything and i was curious uh, when i did it i don't know if you watched my video on uh, 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 the vining rods or dousing rod uh, and they, i found out where there's water lines and right here by this spouting there was a uh, water line that comes right in there and i didn't want to dig down and set that pole and get into that water line so what I did, instead of digging it down into it, I used these little tap cons, and uh, they are, these are made like a screw to go into cement, and just drilled it in, and I, I took some of these brackets and mounted it right down there by these tap cons, and uh, it really worked out pretty good. So it's nice and solid, and so that's how I mounted it to the ed end of the house. And of course, uh, on this uh, side here, the uh, fence is just normally like any other fence you know I have the gate there uh, on that end of it I had dug the post out of the other end and it had a big cement ball on the end of it and so I put that down in to give it solid there where the hinges hooked it to it so that the uh, hinge of the gates nice and solid and so here's the uh, the gate across from the other end of the house uh, you can uh, you see how it just matches up with my neighbor's fence we just kept it straight across so that uh, that way we both can keep our dogs in and have a way to get in and out to the backyard go out to our shed bring things whatever we need out there so uh, uh, this is the way uh, way I have it now and this was the culprit uh, this is a pretty good sized tree it was a cherry tree it uh, went down along the fence line just on this side of the fence and uh, by it uh, the fence being there when it came down during the hurricane I, I i didn't see it go down but i'm pretty sure it went down fairly slow and easy and it kind of kept it up and uh, this is my neighbor's house and as you can see it really did no damage no damage at all to the end of the house uh but i believe it laid down so easily here that it, it kept it from going through and actually doing any damage there so uh, my neighbors and myself and a couple other guys uh, actually we end up we cut it out got it off the house and uh, now we have a stump left uh, I need to figure out a way to get rid of that anybody got any good ideas uh, leave a comment if you do okay this is a view looking down from the other end of the house here um, here's where the uh, old uh, fence post was you can see in the ground there where I pulled them up out and they actually had the post mounted to the end of the house here and that's what really gave me that idea here so the fence line used to run you know all the way across here was the gate and all the way down and you can see where the uh, the stump is in uh, the line of view there and uh, it was actually the fence was right against it it really the tree was actually pushing onto the uh, the side of the fence itself but that's gone now and so we're good to go fence is in place house needs painted and uh, uh, everything's back to shape well semi back to shape after Hurricane Irma all right hope you enjoyed the little video of uh, my new fence um, and I hope you maybe learned a little something of it and if you enjoyed it uh, put a comment down below uh, also hit the uh, thumbs up button if uh, do me a favor if you uh, haven't subscribed to my page yet uh, hit the subscribe button uh we're trying to build up our subscribers uh after you hit 100 you can actually uh, do some live streaming with uh, your youtube channel and so yeah do me a favor hit that subscribe button and uh until next time uh see you again mm -hmm.